Hey Crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Wednesday, January 12th, 2022. Alright, let's get started. One across. End of a dorm name usually? Hmm. I wonder if that could be Hall? I think a lot of dorms have Hall in their name, right? Let's try that and see if we can build off of it. One often seen wearing boots with shorts. Um, hmm, boots with shorts. Is this some kind of specific profession? I'm not sure what this is going to be. Singer with the album 30? That's definitely Adele. Blank Stadium, a.k.a. Field of Jeans. <laughs> I guess maybe that could be Levi's Stadium. I haven't actually heard of that before, but it kind of makes sense. I think it's a good guess with that L in there. Idled as workers. Hmm. Is that going to be laid off? I'm not sure about that. Let's start looking at these acrosses here. Cause for an aha. I guess that could be an idea, right? Okay. Say, I don't know, say. Hmm. It's not like give up or anything. I don't know what that's going to be. I guess I'll have to say, I don't know, in this case, too. Last blank. Final option. This is looking like it's going to be resort. Last resort. Hmm. Hmm. I guess this could be a hiker. You would wear hiking boots with shorts, right? Okay. And then what is this going to be here? I wonder if this is going to be allied. When you allied something in speech or text, you're skipping over things. And when you say, I don't know, you're kind of skipping over a lot of letters that you're not pronouncing, right? The actual thing you're saying is, I don't know. So you're alighting a lot of letters? Yeah, that's a very tricky clue. I like that a lot. Okay, so maybe this is going to be laid off. Let's take a look at this first long across answer. It's most likely our first theme answer. A Fish Called Wanda co-star? 7-9. Ooh, this looks like a cryptic crossword clue. Cryptic crosswords indicate their letter counts in numbered brackets like this. That's very interesting. I just watched this movie actually, so I know that this is Kevin Klein. Um, I think it's spelled like this. I'm not 100% on the last name. It might be I-N-E actually. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. We'll have to confirm it on the downs here. Animal facing a moose on Michigan's flag. Hmm, I don't know this for sure, but I'm going to guess it's an elk. Sounds like a proper northern animal. Comes together nicely. That should be gels. All right, we've got the first part of Klein correct. We knew that already. Anti-blank cream? Hmm, it's not anti-itch cream. There's got to be a lot of anti-something creams out there. Let's see if we can get the first letter at least. Old fashioned G's, could that be EGADS? That's a fun entry, I like that one. On the up and up, that should be legit, maybe? Let's see, anti-blank, maybe it's anti-aging? Ooh, did we get lucky and correct Klein to the right spelling? That's funny. Currency of Iraq, I think that should be dinar, maybe? System that might include a turntable. I guess that could be a stereo, right? So you could play your vinyl records. Wolf down. That's snarf down. Growing up, I always used the phrase scarf down. But on the crossword puzzles, it seems to always be snarf down. Yeah. Okay, FX series set in the Great Plains. Hmm... I'm not sure if I'm familiar with this series. It's not Fargo, unless one of the Fargo seasons takes place in the Great Plains. I haven't watched all of the seasons. A total blast. And again, we have that cryptic notation here at the end. Um, the last word is one letter. 
That's very strange. And you know what? These numbers don't actually match up with the lengths of the words here. Kevin is not seven letters long and Klein is definitely not nine letters long. So this is not actually cryptic notation. This is going to be something else. Hmm, that's very interesting. Kevin Klein, seven, nine. <laughs> Hang on a second. Kevin rhymes with seven and Klein rhymes with nine. Kevin Klein, seven, nine. That's so funny. Um, okay, I wonder if that's going to hold true for this next theme answer. Let's take a look. So eight could be great, right? Um, and then one, maybe that could be fun. Great fun. <laughs> what a funny theme. That's hilarious. I'm so glad I actually read this clue out loud to myself. You know, I think if I was solving on my own and not solving with you all, I don't think I would have done that. And this theme would have been a lot harder to spot. Wow. It's so lucky we were all here solving together. That is so great. All right, let's keep moving. Um, maybe it is Fargo. Is this an R? Sister brand of Crest. Yeah, maybe that could be Oral B. Okay, so let's put in Fargo. Ends of mazes. I think that should be goals. And then this is Tao. East Asian doctrine. Yes, that's right. Impromptu signal to slow down. Hmm, it kind of looks like it's going to end in flag. It's impromptu. Hmm, I'm not sure. Maybe it's a road flare. Yeah, because those are kind of set up in an impromptu way, right? Just as needed. Let's put in a road flare. Yeah, that looks really good. Two patty burgers introduced in 1997. Oh man, this is going to be some kind of fast food thing. I have no idea. Matt's lack? Um, if something's matte, it's not shiny. So it could be lacking a sheen, maybe? It's not glossy? Yeah. Huggers. I guess those could be your arms? Yeah. One of more than 30,000 in Scotland. Hmm. Maybe that's going to be a lock? That's the Scottish word for lake, right? T-V-E-T, -E a TV extraterrestrial. That's ALF, right? Alien life form. That's great. They're both abbreviations for aliens. Yeah. Okay. Papered hairstyle. Could that be a fade? And a female white tail EG. That's got to be an example of a doe, a deer. Yeah, a female deer. Okay, giant in camping gear. That has to be REI. And what do we have here? Stand no more, say? This is a fun little misdirection. This isn't about not being able to tolerate something. Yeah, this is about no longer standing up. It's just gonna be sit. What a cheeky clue there. Okay, musicians break. I guess that could be a rest, yeah. All right, I think we saw the revealer down here, but we kind of know what's going on. We know we have a rhyming theme and it starts with R. So I think it's safe to take a peek at that now that we pretty much know how the theme is working. Like 17, 26, 40, 51, and 64 across with respect to the numbers in their clues. Yeah, that should be rhyming, I think, right? Very nice. This is a great theme. Let's work towards this next one in the middle here. On one side of an outfield pole. I think we're talking about baseball here, but the two different sides of an outfield pole are fair and foul, so we don't know which it's going to be. Let's take a peek at this down and see if we can figure that out. Ruler during the Great Fire of Rome? That's definitely Nero. Okay, so we're going to have foul here. Brass instrument with the largest mouthpiece. Looks like it's going to be tuba. Non-kosher cooking fat. That's got to be lard. Yeah, that's very non-kosher. 
biting remark could be a barb, maybe? Let's take a look at our next theme answer here. Purple Heart Honoree, maybe. Four, zero. That sounds like it's gonna be War Hero, right? Nice. You know what, knowing how the theme is working is making these pretty easy to get. I wonder if we could get some of these theme answers without any crossing help at all. Let's give that a try, actually. Where's the next one? Let's look at 51 across here. Eshoo Scuba Gear, say? Three, five? Hmm, I wonder if that's gonna be Free Dive? That rhymes, right? Very nice. All right, let's look at the last one here. Some poster making supplies. Two, six. Poster making supplies. Two, six. That kind of sounds like glue sticks to me. <laughs> oh my God. This theme was so much fun. What a nice light theme for a Wednesday puzzle. Yeah, I really enjoyed that one. It was really fun being able to get the last two theme answers without any crossing help too. That was really cool. All right, let's keep progressing through the left side of the puzzle here. Pre-weekend outburst. That's gotta be TGIF. I think we were able to shout that out last week too. Spare me the gory details, an equivalent phrase. That's probably TMI, too much information. Phew, another equivalent phrase. Hmm, what is that gonna be? I'm not sure about this one. Reply to nuh-uh. This is definitely playground taunting of some kind. I guess it could be like, I do so or something weird like that. Yeah, I don't know. Contents of a vein. I guess this is not gonna be a vein in your arm. I think this is going to be a vein of ore. Yeah, that's a little tricky there, I like that. Tiger on the green. This is a nice misdirection too. They hid the proper noun at the beginning of the clue. This is talking about Tiger Woods on a golf green. Um, hmm. It looks like it's gonna end in two. Maybe it's is two. Yeah, that's definitely playground taunting. All right, let's look at these long downs here. Venue for meals with microbrews. This looks like it's gonna be gastro pub. Yeah, that looks really good. Okay. Maybe this is just man? Yeah, that's kind of a expression of relief, right? Okay. Acutely focused and attuned. Hmm, maybe that's gonna be like in the zone? I'm not sure about the end. Let's see if we can confirm that. Slug-like secretary in Monsters, Inc. Oh man, it's been a while. I think maybe she was called Roz? Let's see if we can confirm that. Blank lay? That should be Frito lay, yeah. Nano or touch? Those are two different varieties of iPod. There's also the shuffle, as we learned on Saturday. Blank melt? Hmm, tuna melt. Conform to? That should be obey. So we have day for word after field or before dreams. Field day, daydreams. Yeah, that sounds good. Okay. Pulse painfully. That's going to be throb. Yeah, now we could be talking about veins. <laughs> okay. Oversaw. And this is wordplay. Hmm. So I guess this is not about overseeing a work project or something like that. Is this about actually sawing something? Like with a pit saw, possibly? Hmm, I don't know. I'm not sure what this is gonna be. Oversaw. Yeah, let's get some crossing help here. Common city name ending? And it starts with V? Hmm, it's not valley. I'm not sure about that one either. Exercise that works the fingers. <laughs> this is great. This is not about an exercise you do at a gym. This is about an exercise for the piano. That would be an etude. That's really clever. I like that misdirection a lot. Can we get this across here? Sulky states. Yeah, maybe those are snits. 
Um, oh, I see. Okay, this is going to be about seeing in the past tense. Oversaw. If you watched too much TV, you oversaw, you binged. That's pretty clever. Um, okay, so maybe this is Vil. And then respected person in a tribe. That would be an elder. Landowner's documents are deeds. And then we have seed for March Madness Datum. Ooh, yeah. I guess the teams all have seeds in the March Madness tournament. That's pretty tricky. Okay. For reals in texts. Serious abbreviated. That's a nice little bit of modern text speak there. Okay. Playbill heading. Um, I wonder if that could be cast. That CH looks really good there. Galifianakis of Birdman. That's definitely Zach Galifianakis. Okay. Greek P could be Ro. German automaker Carl. I think that's Benz of Mercedes Benz. Glean. I wonder if that could be Reap. Fully cooked could be done, yeah. And then we think this is a P here. Downside of starting a new career path, perhaps. I guess that could be a pay cut, potentially. Yeah. Hot blank? Hmm. Maybe that's hot cocoa? Ooh, that sounds good right about now. Nerdy Family Matters boy? That's definitely Steve Urkel. <laughs> it's a blast from the past, okay. Cybertruck maker? That's definitely Tesla, yeah. All right, let's just confirm we got these acrosses right. Sandwich eaten next to a fire is a s'more. Wow, look at this cozy crossing here. Cocoa with s'more. Man, that's some nice fireside grub right there, yeah. This should be Noel, Caroler's tune. Yeah, that looks good. And this should be Gala, Posh Shindig. Yeah, like our gala affair from Sunday. All right, let's throw that A in there and see if that does it for us. All right, a Wednesday puzzle in 23 minutes. That's a great time for us. I really loved this theme. I don't think I've ever seen a theme that works this way before. You get the kind of standard clue at the beginning, and then they give you numbers at the end, which rhyme with the words in the answer. That's pretty great. And that was such a fun aha moment. Yeah, cause for an aha. It was definitely the theme today. Yeah, so we had Kevin Klein, Great Fun, War Hero, Free Dive, and Glue Sticks. Excellent. They all have words that rhyme with numbers in them. And actually, if I'm not mistaken, we have five theme answers, right? And there's 10 digits from zero to nine. Do we have one of each in here? I think we do. Seven, nine, eight, one, four, zero, three, five, and two, six. Yeah, they never repeat, do they? We have every digit from zero to nine. That is just outstanding. I'm even more impressed now than I was before, and I already really liked it. That really is a superlative theme. I really love that. It was so fun being able to guess the last two theme answers, too. Yeah, not only was it a very clever theme, it was really enjoyable to solve, too. You get both of those elements today, which is really special. And on top of this great theme, we had some really nice cluing, especially in the southern half of the grid. We had this fun oversaw wordplay clue here, but I think the real highlight of the non-theme part of the puzzle was the misdirection. We had a bunch of really clever misdirection clues, like this one, stand no more for sit, it makes you sound like you can't take it anymore. We had the hidden tiger at the beginning of the clue for woods. We had a vein of ore instead of a vein in your body. And I also really liked this clue for etude, yeah, an exercise. A musical exercise is not usually the first thing I think of when I see the word exercise. So yeah, I appreciated that one too. Wow, yeah, this definitely was a legit puzzle. I hope you had as much great fun solving that one as I did. I'm going to be coming back at you tomorrow for the marquee themed puzzle of the week, the Thursday. And I think that's going to do it for now. All right. I'll see you next time.